our calculator project has added two new features. An option to calculate the power of two of any number and the option to know the latest known value of pi. Both features are powered by our existing calculator class, but this time both methods that are used are asynchronous. The method power of two returns a feature of type double, while pi returns a stream of type double. Let's start by checking the existing test for our power of two widget. All the elements should look familiar. First, we create a mock calculator in the setup method. Then, we pump the widget under test using pump widget. We enter the input that we want to use for testing, which in this case is 5, and finally, we write our expectation. We want to assert that the result painted on the screen is 100, so our mock should return that value. This time, we're going to use the combo when, then answer. Then answer is what we need to control the behavior of asynchronous components, but its use is almost identical to then return. We simply return its asynchronous equivalent. In our case, since we want to return 100 as a result, we will provide a future that value 100. If we run this test, it should pass without a problem. Let's look at the Pi widget now. This structure is almost identical as the previous example, but this time, Pi returns a stream, meaning that we can receive more than one value over time, and that's precisely what we want to do in our test. The combo when then answer allows us to stop stream components as well. We simply return an stream instead of a future. Let's do so in our test by returning a periodic stream that emits a new value every 400 milliseconds. If we run this test, we see that it passes as expected. 